All right, that's enough of that. Hey, welcome back. Um, making my glorious return onto YouTube. My Chaos Control glorious return. And um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of update everybody. I was gone uh, a long time there for some work training. And it was, uh, yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. So I, I, I had to leave for that. But uh, anyway, I'm back now. You don't say much, do you? Hey. Hey. Thanks for That's coming. Yeah. Oh, going on? Going on telling my story and it comes crashing in here, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Idea. What are you working on there, buddy? Uh just some ultimate warrior action here. Oh nice. Can we get a close up of it? Sure. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Well, let me get it on camera here, doggo. Beautiful. Can you see it? You can see it, but yes. <laughs> let me make you full screen, man. There's going to be a YouTube short of it soon. Coming soon. Yeah, you, yeah. you want to do the, the YouTube shorts. Nice. Nope. That's right. So I was just uh, talking about how, uh, yeah, I was I was gone at uh, training for work, which I'm not going to talk about. And, and yeah, yeah. we, we uh, closed out the book, Sam J. Jones Saves the Galaxy. Everybody got their books, so it's 100% fulfilled. So that was pretty cool. And I uh, got some feedback on on those. Wanted to show everybody kind of some of the... Oh, yeah. Our last stream was insane. And I didn't get a chance to come back on stream to, like, you know, talk about it. But, yeah, we were on with uh, Cecil, that Star Wars girl, John Malin, Ethan Van Skyver. All those guys, that was that was like the last stream that we had. And it was right in the middle of the campaign. And it was it was a lot of fun. And I'll off the off the kind of clip a video down and show it sometime. But that that was that was really that was really freaking cool to be, be, be on with all those all those guys. So I mean, you know. They were they were really cool too on the stream and uh, it was a long one too so it was a really good um, interview too if, if you, you go back and check it out I'll have to I'll have to do a video of it just so that it's you know because it's like a four hour stream or something so yeah we'll do a video but um so we got people getting their books everybody's happy with it. You know, it came with a lot of cool stuff. It came with all this stuff. It came with like six trading cards, a freaking holographic sticker, and um, a sketch card. Luke's bookmark there. Yep. Um. So I just want to show everybody kind of look at that. Everybody was happy to read it. It was a nice uh, thick book. See if we have any more down here. No, we don't. Okay. But yeah, so that was pretty cool to see that, um, to, to see everybody get, get their books and be happy with it. It took, it was a long process to, uh, it was, it was definitely, it was, it was a long process to fulfill that, that book, but, uh, it, it was a lot of fun though. And I'm kind of sorry I couldn't be here to kind of, you know, make videos to, during that time, but that's just how it is, but. Yeah, so um, on to the topic at hand here. We have, what do we have? I just saw this article and it looked very interesting to me. Um, Taka Watiti wants his Star Wars film to recapture joy of the original trilogy, A New Hope. Ooh. Yeah, so th there's going to be another uh, Star Wars movie apparently. 
and you know i've enjoyed a bunch of the shows that, that have been out now i have i do have to admit that i haven't finished watching ahsoka luke is it good yeah i mean it, it's just a little it's just a little i don't know the, the episodes are just seem long which is which the mandalorian episodes never really seemed long to me when i was watching that but she's just i don't know it's a good show though okay i'm not gonna say it's a bad show and i'm definitely gonna finish watching that i've just been so busy with everything else it's hard to to kind of let me bring with that up here got the chat let's comments how's everybody doing everyone's having a great day and we're talking about star wars today because finally some star wars news comes out that's maybe a good thing i'm not sure if it's going to be a good thing or bad thing but i enjoyed uh Pekka, Pekka Watiti's, uh episode that he directed on the mandalorian it was it was funny and we'll see so this he wants his up uh, there, there, there was a tweet that I came across that said basically my next Star Wars film is going to piss people off. So I'm not sure if he's trying to pull another Ryan Johnson here or not. But um, let's look at this article, Luke. Yeah. While you draw the ultimate warrior. Yeah. Discussing the project on the Kelly Clarkson show. The Thor Ragnarok director reiterated past comments that he wants to take his time with the film, but perhaps offered some hint at his tone. With Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back, and Episode 6, Return of the Jedi seemingly uh, acting as inspiration. I've been developing this Star Wars film for a few years, but I think with any film, but that one in particular, it's something I'd really like to get right so i don't want to rush it what tt said it's going to bubble a lot it's it's going to bubble along on the side okay so he's not really working on it. he's working on it. he's not really working on it it's kind of like something that he's doing on the side as a hobby so that's what right there is kind of this heart i'm not sure like he's like eh, i'm just bubbling it along on the side what um Gonna yeah, take a while to come out or what? Is that what he said? Oh, I'm sure it is, and I'm I'm sure that they are, they are were they are kind of scared to release the next film. Like they don't have to be if they actually, you know, did it, something that the fans wanted, then they would wouldn't have to be. But it's is it too late? Is it too late to to save Star Wars with the movie? Maybe because they didn't bring Luke Lay and Han back together, you know, during the last trilogy and they kind of did mess a lot with the um lore and the established characters i'm not sure hey look i'm still talking about it so i'm still holding out hope for this next movie which you know you can call me uh stupid but i probably am stupid but hey who knows you know we, we we've about half the stuff about that half the star wars shows that have come out that were actually really good and and i really enjoyed them so um he said i want to capture that joy and entertainment of those early ones like empire strikes back return of the jedi um yeah. film won't be releasing anytime soon of course and what td said earlier in november 2023 he thinks it won't be till after the four projects he's currently working on oh my that's like six years from now busy guy uh, yeah, it says due to these current projects requiring six or seven years, uh, Star Wars will likely come out after those 2030. So it looks like Disney's just kind of telling them to let it cool down because everyone's pissed, still, still pissed about The Last Jedi. Um, yeah. Fans had grown concerned over the state of the film. Like Ryan Johnson's trilogy of films, years have passed since the announcement. Yeah, so they haven't announced the movie really, but uh, they're just kind of putting out these shows every once in a while. So, uh, 
Well, TT said in April he's still working away in the film, but as of June 2023, it was missing missing a middle. Ah. What does that mean, Luke? Missing a middle. We got the end figured out. Maybe we got, we got the beginning. And yeah. I mean, any story, you know, you, you start with the beginning and the end in mind, but... It's still missing a medal. Claiming the story was finished two years prior. This the Star Wars schedule is otherwise full of holes. Hmm. Oh my god. Do you know that the more I read this, the more kind of de depressed it's making. <laughs> like yeah, they can't just yeah. write a script. Oh my god. The 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 three most likely films to actually come out next were announced in Star Wars Celebration 2023. Uh, though still lack actual release dates and titles. Mm -hmm. One comes from Mandalorian and Ahsoka's Dave Filoni and will likely wrap up the stories. Okay, cool. Yeah, great. I will take a Mandalorian movie. Cool. Um, but yeah, so basically... This entire article was just from him tweeting one thing. It's going to piss people off. And hey, whatever. But he's trying. He said he wants to recapture the joy of the road. It's kind of hard to do that whenever, you know. Yeah. All the actors are kind of like dying from the original trilogy. But I know what he's saying. He, he wants to do something new. So. But uh, it's probably just going to piss us off. You know what I mean? So. Suck, man. Don't get your yeah. hopes up. Who knows, though? But, you know, if he's saying he wants his his film to recapture the joy of the, origi of the original trilogy, then maybe maybe he does have a fans of mind. We'll, we'll just have to see about that one. Wow. Very exciting. Great. Great stuff. That's just, that drawing's coming along good, man. Thanks. Yeah, he's Thanks coming. You. Jeez, you're inking the crap out of that thing. All right. Oh, so, let's see, we've come to the part in our show where we open up a comic. I don't know what that transition was about. <laughs> so today, today we have a comic book, and this is from Deborah Tucci. Billy Tucci, we were just on his show, man. I was just that's pretty cool talking to that guy. Today, I'm going to be using my K bar to open this. Check this Great. out. It's my U.S. Army K bar. Look at that. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, get the rainbow knife out. I use a different knife every time to open these. Let's take a look. Which book is it going to be? I don't know. I have so many books to open. I already ripped it. Let's see. All right. Oh, nice. Okay. Look at this, man. Hold on. I'm going to put this full screen. Came in a nice bubble wrap container. I'm going nice. to put this on full screen real quick. Check this out. Nicely packaged. You guys how to do it. Great. And we have Dorm of the Dead. Check this out. Nice classic style. Came in perfect condition. Very thick book. I like that. Looks like an old cool. eerie, eerie uh, comic. It looks like a really fun read too, and it came with this. Uh, what is this? Like a, like a little print or something. It's like the characters. It's a zombie book. I like just these fun, like one-off things here that that I can, you know, just read and enjoy. Here's the trading card. Home of the Dead. Very nice trading card. It's a lot like our trading cards. And here is another one. The uh, female zombie. The sword. 
art by Dan Men Mendoza. Cool. Yeah, so I'll give this a read and let you know what that's like. But, but I really like that cover, how it's like a classic kind of what? Old eerie or creepy. Dad was here. He, he, he could tell me exactly what this is, you know, or, or, or reminiscent of here. What do you think there, Luke? What do you think of that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That is, yeah. Oh, he can't see the stream. I think his mic's muted. Oh, am I? Hey, come back to us. Hello. Oh, his mic's muted, ladies oh. and gentlemen. So we're just going to watch him. It's okay. We're just going to watch him draw. Look at that. Look at that beautiful there he is. art there he's doing. Macho Man Randy Savage. That's right. a great Macho Man, dude. Uh, <clears throat> I'm taking the... advantage of him because he can't talk to me. Oops. Sorry, yeah. back there. there we go. All right. So Luke's gone. Okay. So we, we like to make these things nice and short and sweet and watchable instead of, you know, like three hour long streams. But, uh, yeah, so just wanted to kind of update everybody on our book fulfillment. And we're going to be moving on to bigger and better projects here. And um, but we have a lot of things planned basically for the future. So I'm very excited about that. And if we could do it, we'll, we'll keep on coming on stream here and updating everybody on how, how it's going. So, yeah, I've just been working a lot, man. I'm freaking... <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, uh, but I'm not going to complain about that. I mean, I have a great job, but yeah, rather be here. I'd rather be drawn with my co-host here, but hey. should be a fun time. So yeah, keep an eye out for more stuff coming from uh, our YouTube channel because Luke's working away over there. He's almost done with that, but unfortunately I have to go. So uh, say bye, Luke. See ya. Bye. That's that's what what he he would have sounded like there. See you, my so, name. All right, all right. Well, I will talk to you next time. Have a great one. Here's my nib. Goodbye. What do you?